1284 the 25th of April. King Edward II of England was born the fourth son of King Edward I and his wife Eleanor of Castile. At the time of his birth he was second in line to the throne after Alfonso two elder brothers had died before his birth. He had five elder sisters, Eleanor, Joan, Margaret, Mary and Elizabeth. He was born at Carnarfon Castle in Wales. 1284 late April, Edward was given his own household and was looked after by a wet nurse and nursemaids. Giles of Audenard took charge of the household. 1284 the 19th of August, Edward's elder brother, Alfonso, died. Edward became heir to the throne. 1289 6th November, Treaty of Salisbury King Edward I negotiated this treaty with Scotland. It settled the Scottish succession on Margaret, made of Norway and provided for her marriage to Prince Edward. Margaret was to be sent from Norway to England by 1st of November 1290. The treaty was intended to stop either Robert the Bruce or the Balliol families from taking the throne of Scotland. 1289 16th November a papal bull was issued allowing the marriage of Edward to Margaret, made of Norway. 1290, Edward began his education. A number of Dominican friars became part of his household at this time, most likely to take charge of his education. He was also instructed in writing and military skills by Guy Fair. 1290 the 18th of July. Treaty of Bergam This treaty reinforced the terms of the Treaty of Salisbury and included a clause that Scotland would remain an independent country. 1290 The 26th of September Margaret, the maid of Norway, became ill and died on her way from the Orkney Islands to Scotland. 1290, 28th November, Edward's mother, Eleanor of Castile, died. His father was distraught at his wife's death and ordered a lavish funeral at Westminster. Her body was taken in procession from Lincoln to Westminster and a series of crosses Eleanor crosses were placed at 12 intervals along the route. 1290, 28th November Edward became Count of Ponthu and Montreuil on his mother's death. 1291 Prince Edward was left as Regent of England and Wales while his father was on campaign in the Netherlands. 1291 the 26th of June, Edward's grandmother, Eleanor of Provence, died at Amesbury. 1291 the 31st of July Edward was betrothed to Blanche, half-sister of Philip IV of France. 1293 William of Blyborough took over as controller of Edward's household. 1293 Edward's betrothal to Blanche was broken when Edward's father, King Edward I decided to marry her himself. However, after discovering that Blanche had previously been betrothed to John, Marquis of Namur he decided not to go ahead with the marriage. 1293, King Edward I held the Duchy of Aquitaine as a vassal of the King of France. King Philip IV of France was keen to recover Gascony, which was part of Aquitaine. A dispute between fishing boats off the Gascon coast quickly escalated into naval war between England and France. 1294, King Edward I negotiated a marriage between Edward and Philippa, daughter of Guy of Flanders. King Philip IV of France was furious and imprisoned Guy of Flanders until he repudiated the marriage agreement. Philip IV then kept Philippa imprisoned for the rest of her life. 1297, Edward acted as regent while his father was fighting in Flanders against Philip IV of France. 1297 the 12th of October, King Edward I negotiated a truce with King Philip IV. It was agreed that there would be negotiations for a peace between the two countries. 1298 the 19th of August, Edward's sister, Eleanor, died. 1299 the 4th of July. Treaty of Montreuil after further negotiations with France, Edward I agreed to marry King Philip IV of France's half-sister, Margaret. It was also agreed that Prince Edward would marry Philip's daughter Isabella when she came of age. 1299 the 1st of September, King Edward I married Philip IV of France's half-sister, Margaret at Canterbury Cathedral. 1300 Piers Gavistone joined Prince Edward's household. The two men became close friends. 13 of July, Siege of Calaverock Edward went with his father on campaign against the Scots and took part in this siege. 13 1st of June, Edward's half-brother, Thomas, was born to King Edward I and Margaret of France. 1301 the 7th of February Edward was created Prince of Wales and Earl of Chester. 1301 summer, Edward, Prince of Wales, led an army on campaign in Scotland and captured Turnberry Castle. 1301. 
the 5th of August, Edward's half-brother, Edmund, was born to King Edward I and Margaret of France. 1303 Edward took control of the siege of Brecon Castle in Scotland. 1303 the 20th of May, Treaty of Paris This treaty furthered the peace with France and agreed the marriage of Edward to Isabella of France. It also agreed that Gascony would be given to England. 1304, Edward tried to negotiate a peace with the Scots but after negotiations broke down he and his father lay siege to Stirling Castle. 1304, the 20th of July, Stirling Castle surrendered to the English. In 1305 Edward quarreled with his father over finances. It is likely that Edward felt that as heir to the throne he should have a higher allowance and his father disagreed. In 1306 February, Robert Bruce of Scotland killed his rival John Comyn. The 25th of March, Robert Bruce declared himself King of Scotland and was crowned at soon. After March, Prince Edward led the English army to Scotland and defeated Robert Bruce who fled into hiding. In May Edward was formally created Duke of Aquitaine. On the 6th of May Edward's half-sister, Eleanor, was born to King Edward I and Margaret of France. The 22nd of May, Feast of the Swans This was a grand ceremony held at Westminster Abbey. King Edward I knighted Edward and then Edward, as future king, knighted 266 men eligible for knighthood. Edward's favorite, Piers Gavistone was one of those knighted. The ceremony was followed by a feast that included two swans. In 1307 the 26th of February, Prince Edward's favorite, Piers Gavistone, was banished by the king. The exact reason for the banishment are not known but it is likely due to a dispute between Edward and his father. On the 23rd of April, Edward's sister, Joan, died. In May, Battle of Loudoun Hill Robert Bruce came out of hiding with a Scottish army and defeated the English at the Battle of Loudoun Hill. 7th of July, Edward's father, King Edward I died at Berg by Sands. Edward succeeded his father, as King Edward II. In July Edward recalled his favorite, Piers Gavistone from exile. On the 6th of August Edward created Piers Gavistone, Earl of Cornwall. 1308 January Edward went to France to marry Isabella of France. He controversially left Piers Gavistone in charge as regent. The 25th of January as per the terms of the Treaty of Paris 1303, Edward married Isabella, the 12-year-old daughter of Philip IV of France in Baalot, France. In February King Edward II and Isabella of France traveled to England. The 25th of February Edward and Isabella were crowned at Westminster Abbey by the Bishop of Winchester. Piers Gavistone was chosen by Edward to carry the crown. Also in February the barons were becoming increasingly concerned about the power wielded by Piers Gavistone. In April, the barons, supported by Isabella and her father, and probably Margaret, second wife of Edward I again complained about the power and influence wielded by Piers Gavistone. Edward reluctantly agreed to send Gavistone away and gave him the title Lieutenant of Ireland before sending him to Ireland. The Archbishop of Canterbury stated that Gavistone would be excommunicated if he returned to England. In August, Edward met with the barons to discuss reform. However, Edward wanted the return of Gavistone and no progress was made. 1309 in spring, a further meeting of the barons and members of the clergy was held but they refused to allow the return of Gavistone. At the same time Edward sent messages to the Pope assuring him that the conflict surrounding Gavistone was at an end. The Pope annulled the Archbishop of Canterbury's excommunication threat. In June Piers Gavistone returned to England. July King Edward II met with Parliament and agreed to a number of reforms requested by the barons. In return Parliament granted Edward taxation to fund war in Scotland. 1310 Edward's half-sist, Eleanor, died. In January, Piers Gavistone had angered many members of the nobility by his arrogance and the derogatory attitude he had towards them. Parliament was scheduled to meet but a great number of nobles stayed away as a protest against the power given to Piers Gavistone. No further taxation was granted which left Edward with serious financial problems. February. Parliament met and Edward wanted to discuss funding for war with Scotland. However, the barons wanted to discuss Gavistone. The barons insisted that Edward accept a body of elected advisers who would be known as ordainers. The ordainers would have the power to reform the government and the royal household. Edward reluctantly agreed. In autumn of that year, 
King Edward II accompanied by Piers Gaveston, marched north at the head of an army. Edward wanted to draw Robert the Bruce into battle, but the Scots leader could not be drawn out. 1311. Edward had been unable to provoke Robert the Bruce to battle. His money had run out and he had no choice but to return to London. October 1311. Ordinances of 1311 While Edward had been on campaign in Scotland, the ordainers had drawn up a list of reforms that they wanted implemented. Edward had no choice but to accept the ordinances even though they limited the power of the monarch and ordered that Gaveston be exiled. December The relationship between King Edward II and his barons had severely deteriorated. 1312 January Edward revoked the ordinances and recalled Gaveston to England. Late January, Edward's actions had served to further alienate the barons. The barons met secretly in London and drew up a plan to capture Edward, Isabella and Gaveston. In the spring of that year, Edward, Isabella and Gaveston fled north but were followed by the earls of Lancaster and Pembroke. In an attempt to outwit their pursuers Edward and Isabella went to York leaving Gaveston at Scarborough. Late spring the same year, Gaveston surrendered to the Earl of Pembroke who took him south. However, on the way Gaveston was seized by the Earl of Warwick who took him to Warwick Castle. 18th of June the Earl of Warwick conducted a show trial which found Gaveston guilty of treason. The 19th of June Piers Gaveston was executed on Blacklow Hill. After the, the 19th of June, Edward was furious when he heard the news of Gaveston execution and vowed to seek revenge. Civil war was averted when the Earls of Pembroke and Surrey, who were not happy with Warwick's actions, pledged their support to Edward. 13th November, a son, Edward was born to Edward II and his wife Isabella at Windsor Castle. 1313, with most of the nobles back on side, Edward was able to secure a grant of money from Parliament to reclaim land in Scotland taken by Robert Bruce. In June, the rule of Gascony had continued to cause conflict between England and France. King Edward II and Isabella of France traveled to Paris to meet with King Philip IV. They were able to settle their differences amicably. October, Edward's ability to settle the Gascony question earned him increased support from the nobility. Parliament also approved new taxation which left Edward in a good financial position. 1314 Early June, Edward learned that Robert Bruce had placed Stirling Castle under siege and it was likely to fall. He rapidly marched north. The 23rd, the 24th of June, Battle of Bannockburn, this two-day battle between the English and the Scots, saw the English army beaten by the Scots led by Robert Bruce. Autumn in that year, the harvest was very poor in this year leading to a rise in food prices. People blamed the poor harvest on Edward's defeat at Bannockburn. The 29th November, Philip IV of France died. He was succeeded by Isabella's brother, Louis X. In 1315, Robert Bruce's brother, Edward, invaded Ireland and declared himself King of Ireland. Also in that year, there were a number of revolts in Lancashire and Bristol but they were easily put down the 13th of June a daughter, Eleanor, was born to Edward II and his wife Isabella. 1316, there were revolts in Wales but they were suppressed. February, civil war broke out between Edward, supported by the despots of family and the barons led by Roger Mortimer. The 13th of August, a second son, John was born to King Edward II and his wife Isabella at Eltham Palace. 1318, Edward had two new favorites, Hugh Despenser and his son also named Hugh. Edward gave lavish gifts and money to both men. The 13th of June, a daughter, Eleanor, was born to Edward II and his wife Isabella. The 9th of August, Treaty of Leak This was an attempt to find agreement between Edward and the nobles. The ordinances of 1311 were to be reintroduced. Parliament was to be summoned and any decision made by the king should be approved by a council. In autumn, the weather had been poor for the last few years and harvests had been bad across Europe. The harvest this year was better but the people were still suffering hardship and there was increasing anger at those that hoarded food and also at the royal court for continuing to requisition food. The 14th of October, Battle of Fort Edward Bruce was defeated and captured following this battle in Ireland. He was executed. In 1319, the preference shown by Edward to his favorites once again led to tension with the nobility. Those that he had won back by reintroducing the ordinances now began to desert him. February 1321, 
Civil war broke out between King Edward II supported by the Despensers and the Barons led by Roger Mortimer, the 5th of July. A daughter, Joan, was born to Edward II and his wife Isabella. She was known as Joan of the Tower because she was born in the Tower of London where Isabella was taking refuge. July. Roger Mortimer forces occupied London and demanded that Edward exile the Despensers. Edward had no choice but to comply. After July, King Edward II sent his wife. Isabella, to Leeds Castle to provoke Baron Badlesmere. The plan succeeded when Badlesmere's wife killed some of Isabella's men. Edward had a reason to intervene and after defeating Badlesmere quickly took control of South East England. December, Edward advanced on the Welsh marches and the Lord surrendered to him. 1322 3rd of January, King Philip V of France died. He was succeeded by his brother Charles IV. The 10th of March Edward marched on Lancaster's army, realizing he was outnumbered, Lancaster fled, north. 16th of March Battle of Brubridge Edward's forces defeated those of the Earl of Lancaster. The 22nd of March, Thomas Earl of Lancaster was executed for treason. In 1323 that year, King Charles IV of France summoned Edward to France to pay homage in respect of his lands in Gascony. In 1324, Charles IV invaded Gascony. Edward had around 4,500 soldiers stationed there but knew that this would not be enough to fight Charles IV. November the nobility and church leaders agreed that Edward should send a force to France. 1325 March. Edward's queen, Isabella traveled to France to pay homage to Charles IV and negotiate an end to the war. It was agreed that Edward would come to France and pay homage to Charles IV. 1325 Summertime. King Edward II agreed to the terms set by King Charles IV of France. He then gave Gascony to his son, Prince Edward. It was now young Edward that needed to pay homage to the French king. September. Prince Edward crossed the English Channel in order to pay homage to King Charles IV of France. In 1326 that year, Isabella had not returned to England but instead had remained in France with Roger Mortimer who had been exiled from England. The two had become lovers at some point. In the summer, those nobles who continued to oppose Edward gathered around Isabella and Mortimer in France. The 27th of August. Queen Isabella agreed to the betrothal of Prince Edward and Philippa of Hainault in return for the support of the Count of Hainault. The 24th of September, Roger Mortimer, Queen Isabella and Prince Edward landed at Orwell on the east coast of England with a small invasion force. Late September, enemies of King Edward II and the Despensers flocked to support Mortimer, Isabella and Prince Edward. 2nd of October, Isabella, Mortimer and Prince Edward reached Oxford where they were warmly welcomed. The 2nd of October King Edward and the Despensers were forced to leave London because it was becoming increasingly unsafe. They headed west. The 7th of October Isabella, Prince Edward and Mortimer reached London. The 9th of October Edward and the Despensers reached Gloucester. The 16th of October, Isabella's forces reached Gloucester. King Edward fled to Wales while Hugh Despenser the Elder moved to Bristol. The 18th of October Isabella's forces lay siege to Bristol. The 26th of October, Hugh Despenser the Elder was captured and executed when Bristol fell to Isabella's forces. 2nd November, King Edward and Hugh Despenser the Younger attempted to leave England for Ireland but bad weather drove them back to Wales. 16th November, King Edward II and Hugh Despenser the Younger were captured by the forces of Mortimer, Isabella and Prince Edward. Despenser was imprisoned while Edward was placed in the custody of Henry of Lancaster. 24th November Hugh Despenser the Younger was executed. Late November, after taking the Tower of London, Isabella took control of the government of the country. She arranged for a council of nobles and churchmen to meet and discuss the situation. 1327 January, the Council of Nobility and Churchmen met to discuss what to do about the King. It was decided that Edward II should be forced to abdicate in favor of his son. The 21st of January, Edward II became Edward of Carnarvon and his eldest son became King Edward III. Isabella and Mortimer would act as regents while the King was still a child. The 2nd of February Edward's son was crowned King Edward III at Westminster Abbey. The 5th of April, Edward, now styled Edward of Carnarvon was moved to Berkeley Castle because it was feared that opponents of the new regime would try to affect his estate. 
the 21st of September, Edward of Carnarvon died while in custody. Some historians believe that Edward escaped captivity and lived his life in obscurity and that it suited Isabella and Mortimer to spread the news that he had died. Edward II was an appalling king. He didn't have any of the qualities required in a 14th century ruler, and it was surely the best thing for England that he was deposed and replaced by his son, a much more competent ruler. However, I don't believe that Edward was a bad man, and in fact many of his character traits, though incomprehensible to his contemporaries, are very attractive to the modern mind. For example, Edward had a general preference for the company of peasants over his nobles, a fact heavily criticized by chroniclers of the time, but to a 21st century observer, a king with the common touch who could communicate with people much further down the social scale seems much more attractive. Edward loved pastimes such as building walls, digging ditches, thatching roofs and shoeing horses, considered odd back then. Edward also enjoyed rowing and swimming and sailing his barge along the River Thames, buying cabbages from peasants on the banks to make soup with. He also loved music, dancing, romances and watching plays, signs of a cultured man. Edward was fiercely loyal and generous to those he loved but perhaps not the most sensible trait in a king but attractive in a man and he had a huge capacity to love and be loved. The wrong people maybe but who of us can we choose who we love? Edward was mostly an easygoing man, although prone to violent outbursts of temper, like all his family. The last few years of Edward on the throne from 1322 and 1326 we can see Hugh Despenser the Younger, was probably playing the part of King of England. So it's a sad ending for Edward II and sadly he has gone down in history as one of England's worst kings whereas his father Edward I and his son Edward III have went down in history as England's greatest kings.